I'm not forsaken, never alone. The God of heaven calls me his own. He's not just seated upon the throne. I know he's right here inside my home. I've got a treasure here in my heart, and in my weakness it won't depart. I have a Savior who will abide. He's not just with me, He lives inside. Just go as Daniel in, our God will bring you well, and He will testify. He'll shut the lion's mouth. Go as those Hebrew boys, if you'll stick by your side, they will identify the fourth man in the fly. They'll tell you, oh. Testify, he shuts the lion's mouth. Go ask those Hebrew boys if you will stick by your side. They will identify the fourth man in the file. They'll tell you, oh, 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 oh he's in the room. Hey. Yeah. Oh, 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 he's in the room. Yes, he is.
day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Woo!
God just won't speak the name of Jesus over every heart and every mind. Cause I know there is peace within your presence. I speak Jesus. I just want to speak the name of Jesus Till every dark addiction starts to break Declaring there is hope and there is freedom I speak Jesus Your name is power Your name is healing Jesus! 
Jesus from the mountains, Jesus in the streets, Jesus in the darkness over every enemy. Jesus for my family, I speak the holy name. you have made us glad. Hallelujah, Lord. We praise you.
before him, bless him. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for sending your precious Son, Jesus, to the earth to be born for us, live for us, die for us, and now he is raised for us. Lord Jesus, we bless you. We give you glory. We magnify your righteous holy name. Lord Jesus, you made it possible for the Holy Ghost to take up residence in us, live through us, and accomplish God's will and purpose in our lives. And we thank you for that in the mighty name of Jesus. God is good. Hallelujah. So if you would just go ahead and bless the Lord like that. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thanks for the Holy Ghost. We have the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name that's above every name. It's wonderful to be here tonight. Glory to God. Okay, so I'm going to ask you before you're seated, if you would look around a bit, see if you can find five people that you have not yet greeted. Love and bless on those five people. Tell them it's a great thing that you're here tonight, and then have a seat. everyone this evening after that praise and worship you ought to just have ah, just a breath of fresh air amen you know there's a spirit of compassion in the room God's compassion is being poured out on us and you know when we have announcements it should really stir you because that's just the expression of his compassion because he's giving us things to do. He's putting us together in many, many ways. Amen. We want to welcome our first-time visitors tonight. If you're in the room and this is the first time you're here, we'd love to welcome you. Just raise your hand. Our attendants have a card. It's just a connect card. We'd just like to connect with you and let you know that we're here. Out of that compassion of the Lord, we're here to, to, to bless you and so, amen. Those of you that are online, thank you for joining in. We're so glad you found us, uh, and uh, we welcome you as well. And God is good, amen. So we want to share some things with you, and everything that we're sharing tonight, you can go right online, and it's all right there. Just click and move your cursor, and it all pops up, amen. But we want to make sure that you're aware, first of all, if you missed getting an offering envelope when you came in. Our service attendants have those as well. We want to go ahead and have you get those. Pastor will receive that in a few moments. Amen. And we also want to make sure while they're up, your Bible reading sheet. Now, I know it's the end of the month, but just as soon as you get started, there's a fresh one coming. Amen. May is on the rise, but let's not forget April while we're in April. Amen. Pastor, really, I hope you're reading the messages that are on these because they are nuggets. They are, talk about wisdom and nuggets of life. They're, they're, they're powerful. Amen. So be sure you read them as well as your Bible. Amen. All right. Praise the Lord. We also encourage you, you know, to become a member. If you've been coming and this is a house that you're being fed, we just would love to have you to just make that extra step and connect with us to be able that we can keep the vision of the house going. Amen. And reach people. That's, that's our heart, reaching people. That's why we need help to reach others. Amen. 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 I mean, if it was just to come to a house, become a member, sit down and watch the preacher do everything. <laughs> we wouldn't reach very many people, would we? So, and our kids, don't forget our kids. We went through a whole time of this interruption. <laughs> we'll just call it an interruption. So we're, we want to make sure our kids get fed the word of God, and they do. Amen? Amen. All right, so 
Let's get down to business. We, first of all, want to let you know that this coming weekend is going to be, I mean, talk about something to do. Every time starting Friday, you turn around. Friday, you're going to have something. Saturday morning, you're going to have something. Sunday morning, you're going to come in and have some more. So let me just tell you what the lineup is, as Pastor Sheree said this morning. First of all, Friday, you're going to start out with a movie night. Now, you know, movies are expensive, but you can come and have a, you know, a time where you can just, you know, share and have fellowship and look at a good movie. Amen? And it's free. Absolutely. <laughs> so Friday, April the 26th at 6.30 p.m., you join us for the, the movie night, and then you can walk right out to our property. You don't even have to get in your car and go anywhere. Just walk over to the, to the, to the uh, campground. And then you'll get help with a tent if you need it. And I know of some people that are sitting in this room that when they get together with a tent, it is a tent. I mean, it's a, it's a whopper. <laughs> and, uh, you know, you, <clears throat> you might go visit it. <clears throat> they might have some extra food or something. Anyway, just, you know. So you can, ha have, you, you can have help if you need with a tent. They're glad to help you. Amen. So you're going to have a family camp out. Now, get this line up, as Pastor Sheree said. The cooking, we have games, and also, you know, set up and break down. They could use some help with that. But that's just everyone getting together and making sure their camp is all set up and neat. Amen. You get to cook your own s'mores over the campfire. And then you're liable to taste some of FLM's famous Dutch oven peach cobbler. Ooh, I've heard it's good. And then the next morning, pancake breakfast, and don't forget devotion. you got to praise the Lord before you leave him. Amen? Amen. Then, that's just Friday. Oh, my goodness. That's Friday. And then Saturday, ladies, Nancy Dufresne. Don't forget. Saturday at 10 a.m. Now, it's not in the West Wing gym, say the youth building. Youth building. Youth building. Youth building. Where's the lunch? Youth building. That's right. <laughs> it's in the youth building. So, but please register. Let us know that you're coming. $15 for the box lunch. It's going to be great. So you get fed physically and spiritually. Amen. And then Sunday, we're going to have Nancy Dufresne. Absolutely, Sunday night, 7 o'clock. Now, that's our, that's our regular Sunday night time, but then on Monday, she's also going to be here, and that's also at 7 o'clock. So don't come at 7.30, come at 6.30, so you'll be early. Amen? All right, wow, that is a power-packed weekend. Wow, don't miss it. Amen. All right, our Vacation Bible School this, we are getting prepared for that. We are planning. We're writing scripts. We're getting characters. It's called Mission Possible Agents of Change. This, you know, this world needs change, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. And God's got the answer for that change. And he's going to have it in our kids, too. Amen? So save the dates, July 15th through the 19th. And it's going to be from 830 until noon. That's the VBS part. Then, if your child would like to come for the summer camp in the afternoon, which is free, everybody say free, it's free, free. So, you can uh, let us know that it's for rising first graders and rising sixth graders, okay? Now, we need to have help. Everybody say help. Everybody needs help, right? We need 45 folks in the morning. And 45 folks in the evening, different folks, because the morning people have served. Now, you can do all day if you'd like, but if we do it this way, then it's not a burden on anyone, right? The kids are going to have fun regardless. <laughs> so uh, that's what we're asking, 45 workers in the morning and 45 in the afternoon. Amen? All right, FLMF is going to have an ice cream social and uh, so that's on Friday, May the 10th. That's not until May. From, it's 7 p.m., also in the youth building. We're going to have Speaker Ron Bruce. He always brings something exciting to the table, and he always brings a feast for us to be able to eat, to feast off of. Amen. Then uh, April the 27th, we're going to have Ranger Kid Field Day. That'll be really good, too, for K-5, first grade, and second graders. Amen. All right, media. Media workers are in need of 
help in areas such as presentation. Now, what you just saw tonight with uh, the words on the screen and what you're seeing uh, as I talk, that is what's called presentation. So for Sundays and Wednesdays, there's help needed there. We need sound on Sunday 8.30, and there's no experience as needed. This is something you could be trained for, and that uh, will help, and also, who knows, you might get a career out of that. You know, we've had that to happen before. Amen? Amen, amen. All right, two more things, and then I'm done. You know, we want to make sure you know that next Sunday is also Missions Offering Sunday. And next Sunday is also Commitment Sunday, which brings me to this here. So if you did not receive this in the mail, then that means we do not have your address. So if you didn't, we'd like to give you one. So I know this is Sunday night. We're probably talking to the choir, but that's okay. There could be someone that missed it. And with it, there is a commitment card. And so pray about it. I, I loved what this phrase that's been and it's so true it's not equal gifts but equal commitment that widow that put in the two mites that was just as powerful to God as the the pr priest who put in a pocket full or his treasure chest amen so God knows what you can do you do what you can do and God will honor it and bless you and multiply it amen amen Amen. All right. Now, media is going to show you a short clip and while I am finished the announcements. Thank you very much. Enjoy. Last year's stewardship campaign, Invest It's Your Future, kicked off our multi-year goal to enhance, expand, and establish new ways to not only meet the needs of the church, but also draw in new visitors and families by providing opportunities for fellowship, worship, discipleship, ministry opportunities, and evangelism. This is the vision of FLM at its very core. Through your financial support over the past year, we have made progress in multiple areas. From receiving Henrico County's preliminary approval to completing financial architectural drawings, as well as getting quotes back from contractors interested in our endeavors. The typical time it takes to see physical progress on grounds is about a year, so we are right on pace with our three-year construction plan. In order to initiate a construction schedule, contractors prefer to see the money beforehand. While we have paid all the soft costs, it's time to enter into the next phase of our three-phase program and secure funding in the form of a construction loan with the intention to pay as we go. The seed has been planted. While we may not see anything yet, the germination process has already begun. Now is the time to continue nurturing that seed through our giving until it brings forth fruit. This is accomplished by faith and corresponding action. What we will do as a church body is continue to embrace the promises of God and watch His power meet us as we give. Like the small boy's loaves and fishes were multiplied in Matthew chapter 14, we have the privilege of watching the multiplication of our giving it's time to invest and make it count. Invest brings to mind a process that involves a decision, then an action which leads to a long-term goal being achieved. Repeated experiences of trusting God build our faith that this endeavor will be a success. The result will be a fully built-out facility and grounds that will be useful for this congregation to have their dreams fulfilled. As we said in previous campaigns, our future is to prepare a place for ourselves and future generations to use as a tool to reach and disciple many generations to come. As we approach Commitment Sunday on April 28th, we ask you to pray and seek the Lord on how you will sow into this year's stewardship phase. Each and every commitment is significant. It's not about equal gifts, but equal commitment. Being faithful to your word, just as God is faithful to his, let's set our goals high and shout the victory on Victory Sunday, May 5th. 
Remember, there is always an abundance when God is involved. Continue to sow out of that abundance and reap the harvest. Invest. Make it count. Hallelujah. Boy, that's good, isn't it? Yeah, I'm going to ask you if you would just stand to your feet. Praise the Lord. Thank God for His grace. Let's go ahead and bless the Lord. That's right. Let Him bless you. You bless Him, He blesses you, strengthens you, gives you supernatural ability to accomplish things that you otherwise would not be able to do. Yeah, just go ahead and bless Him. That's right. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. God is good. Okay, so we're going to do it again. This time I'm going to ask you to go the opposite direction. See if it's possible to find five people that you have not greeted. Love and bless on those five people and tell them it's a great thing you're here tonight and then have a seat. Hallelujah. God is good. That's sufficient. Praise the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Okay, so uh, before we go further, we just want to make sure that every person in the room has the opportunity to participate in these things that we're doing. So uh, first of all, we're about to receive the regular church offering, Sunday night church offering. If you did not receive one of our offering envelopes when you came in the door and you'd like to have one. Uh, yeah, just hold your hand up in the air and we'll be glad to put one of those in your hand so you can uh, participate. Glory to God. Your tithing and giving is a part of your worship life. Hallelujah. Okay, so then following that, we also want to make sure, and we're one week away from our Commitment Sunday, so if this still uh, looks unusual to you, then uh, that's telling me you probably don't have one. We'd like to put one of these in your hand, and inside of that is a commitment card. This is self-explanatory. This is the thing we're asking you to pray over about your part so that next Sunday morning you can participate by sowing into the kingdom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, I want to tell you a little bit about faithfulness. This is really a faithful church. You know, as a matter of fact, it rubs off on people, and you, sh you should know about that. Yeah, you know, we have people that move to the other side of the country, sometimes even to other countries. And uh, they insist on paying off their building campaign commitment that they made. So, yeah, they're, they're, you know, they're, they have to figure out a way to go about doing it because sometimes, you know, it has to come in electronically. Yeah, but we have a lot of people in the United States that just, uh, yeah, they just step up to the plate and say, I want to, uh, you know, that they identify the seed. That's what these envelopes are good for. You can identify, uh, praise the Lord. God is good. And faithfulness is rewarding. God rewards faithfulness. He's faithful. It's one of his primary characteristics. Hallelujah. God is good. Okay, so tonight we have uh, it's actually the last part of a series. This is called Your Purpose. And we've talked about different aspects of this, but tonight we want to wrap it up with uh, a clear statement about your purpose uh, which will involve eternity for you. Hallelujah. How many of you want to spend eternity with God? I figure that that's, you know, I mean, wow, that's one of the reasons why you're here tonight. 
You're faithful. Yeah, oh, I didn't, yeah, I didn't receive the offering, did I? Okay. Thanks for reminding me. That's, that's, oh, oh that, <laughs> okay. Well, you, you're the one that got the house. It, I won't call it free, but it was close to it. Hallelujah. Yeah, and you acted on the thing that we talked about in that prayer meeting that we had a couple of years ago, and you, you're one of the ones that got the house. Hallelujah. Yeah, and it, it increased so much before she even moved in, if I got the story right. Yeah, that, uh, wow, it's, it's almost like you got it for nothing. God is good. Yeah, I might be stretching it a tad, but uh, glory to God. God is good. Okay, so I'm going to ask you to stand to your feet if you would, and uh, whatever form your offering may be in. If you would, just hold it up before God. Yeah, you know, if it's still in you, in your heart, then just hold your hand up like that. If you've already sown it, hold your hand up like that. And say this with me, Heavenly Father, thank you for your faithfulness. You watch over your word to perform it. You asked us to prove you in this. We prove you by acting on your word. We bring our tithes and offerings into the storehouse. Thank you, Father, for pouring out abundance into our lives. We're acting on your word by faith. In Jesus' name, amen.